Shopping secondhand for our kids can be challenging, but I have a few easy things to keep in mind when you're heading to the thrift stores to figure out what you wanna purchase for your kids. So today I'm gonna to share with you five things that I always look for secondhand for my kids for Christmas before I head out and buy new. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Jen and welcome to Happily Organized Chaos. So today's video is an exciting one. It is actually a collaboration with two wonderful ladies here on YouTube, Erin from The Collection Vintage and Kelly from Yard Sale Squad. And the three of us are coming at you with some Christmas thrifted kid um, ideas or hauls. My video is going to be mainly just ideas of things that you can look for secondhand or thrift from a thrift store, Facebook marketplace, or even a Facebook like buy nothing group. There are so many things out there in the world that we can thrift and get secondhand to give to our children that are practically brand new and they would never know the difference. Don't forget to go and check out Kelly and Aaron's channels and their videos, which I'll link down below in the description box after you finish watching mine. And if you're coming over from either one of those lovely ladies, then hi, thanks so much for clicking on today's video and deciding to watch. If you enjoy the content here on my channel, then definitely please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and you can become a member of my family here on YouTube. There's gonna be a lot of changes happening in 2022, so I don't wanna give any any spoilers right now but make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss the channel update video that will be coming out shortly I'm also doing vlogmas so let's jump into some ideas for thrifting and buying secondhand for your children for Christmas with the holiday season fastly approaching and the countdown is on till the man in the red suit appears I am going to share with you five things that I always look for when I'm at the thrift stores or shopping secondhand or searching Facebook Marketplace. The first thing I look for is books. You can always find so many good books at thrift stores. Since I've been lucky to find things like hardcovered Perfect Condition Dog Man and Diary of a Wimpy Kid, which are perfect for my 12 year old boy. and for Christmas this year for my 10 year old girl, well, soon to be 10, I found this gorgeous four uh, piece collection, hardcover, fully illustrated and adapted classic novels from A Little Princess to The Secret Garden, Anna Green Gables, and even Little Women. So the beautiful collection, I'm thinking tie it up with, a, wrap it up all together, tie it with a beautiful red bow and then you have this gorgeous Christmas gift that was fully thrifted and I don't even think these books have been read. They are in such good condition. The second thing that I always look for when I am heading to the thrift stores or shopping secondhand is clothing. Kids outgrow clothes so quickly and it doesn't matter what age they are. Until they are finished growing, they go through clothes so quickly. And some of the clothing that my kids are starting to ask for now are extremely expensive. And I don't even buy clothing that expensive for myself and I'm done growing. So I tend to always check the racks on the clothing at the thrift stores to try to find something that is in the style that they like and that they've been asking for or wanting. So Madeline has been asking for Lululemon. So what I ended up doing was searching Facebook Marketplace and I ended up finding a pair of Lululemon leggings and a tank top brand new with tags for $30. She is going to be so happy and I saved myself a couple hundred dollars and honestly for a nine soon to be 10 year old, she does not need a Lululemon, but it's something that she wants and I thought it would be special to give her at Christmas time. And for Connor, his, the biggest thing in middle school this year, at least where we are, is Hollister. And I ended up finding him a two Hollister t-shirts. The Hollister t-shirts are $20 on sale on their website. 
I think that is outrageous. It is crazy. But I ended up finding two of them in really good condition for under $7 each. And no one is going to know the difference if they were thrifted <clears throat> or if they were brand new. Once you throw them in the wash and you wear them once, they're used anyway, right? So regardless, thrifting clothes is definitely one of the top things that I always do during the holiday season. Number three that goes along with clothing is shoes. Again, just like clothing, kids outgrow their shoes so quickly and it, they're just so expensive. Now I do find it harder thrifting for shoes and that's why I tend to go to Facebook Marketplace instead of thrift stores because in my experience, our thrift stores locally, we can never find shoes, especially for my 12 year old that are in good condition anymore because they really wear them to the bone. So I was lucky to find a pair of thrifted sneakers that Madeline loves. She had them in size one. I thrifted them in size two. And then I was lucky enough on Facebook Marketplace, the exact same pair in size three. It's these Mickey Mouse, um, Asik, Asik, I can't pronounce it. But these shoes, like hardly worn, just a little bit of dirt on the bottom. And honestly, I think that might be from her trying them on and wearing them around the house. But these were $10. So she got a really good pair of sneakers for $10 just for me searching Facebook Marketplace. The fourth thing I always look for would be board games. That is something that both my kids really enjoy playing together with me and my husband during the holiday break. We love to get together and have game nights. So different games, as long as you can check the boxes to make sure all the pieces are there. Another thing would be puzzles. Again, that is hard to find, like to make sure all the pieces are intact, but I find a lot of my thrift stores are good at making sure and counting the pieces beforehand. So thrifting any of those before going and buying new because board games can get expensive. I thrifted this Guess Who board game here for $3.99. The price tag is actually still on it. For $3.99 and all the pieces were intact and we've gotten hours and hours of enjoyment from this game. So definitely check out the board games and card games and puzzles at your local thrift store and check Facebook Marketplace because people are selling things brand new um, at a reduced cost to get ready for the holidays. They might have a few things in their house that they're trying to part with to make room for some of the new things. So definitely do that. I'm doing that myself. I have a list of a bunch of things that I'm trying to declutter from my home that my children just no longer enjoy that I ended up buying and I don't need anymore. So I have it listed. Uh, mar uh, marketplace locally for um, people to purchase at a discounted price and then at least someone else will get the enjoyment out of the um, items whereas otherwise they would just sit collecting dust in my basement. And the last thing is number five and that is toys and um, I mean this is kind of a no-brainer Although my children are starting to outgrow their toys, I've been really fortunate to find a lot of really good high quality toys on Facebook Marketplace and through local thrift stores. I'm gonna show you something that I thrifted years ago and I only paid $1.25 Canadian for her and you're gonna be shocked if you know what it is. So this is Kanani, uh, an American Girl doll and she did not come with the dress. This is Mary Ellen's dress that we've had. But I thrifted the doll for $1.25. These dolls are very expensive. And it just shows that you can find high quality toys at thrift stores. I've found them on Facebook Marketplace for $40, which is a reasonable price because American Girl dolls are very expensive. I've also thrifted Lego and Barbies and Barbie accessories. And you can really go in and look for the toys that your kids are interested in right now and try to find some of those things at thrift stores or Facebook Marketplace at a discounted price. So that is it. That is my five 
things to look for when you are thrifting for kid Christmas gifts. Um, I didn't want to share with you too many of the things that I ended up getting my kids because sometimes Madeline will occasionally come across this channel and I don't want to ruin the surprise for her and some of her friends also watch. So I didn't really want to get into everything that they got but I thought I would give you these tips that I follow when I am thrifting and when I am looking for finalizing my kids Christmas wish lists. If you enjoyed my channel and my video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Erin and Kelly in the description box down below and watch their kids thrift at Christmas gifts ideas video as well. And let them know that I sent you. And if you're coming over from either one of those lovely ladies channels, then thanks for watching. I hope you consider subscribing. Let me know down in the comments where you're from, where you're watching from, and what videos you would love to see on my channel in the new year. Until the next video, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, are staying safe, and as always, take care. Happy holiday season, friends. We'll see you in the next video tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye now.